Sir, how is the situation and condition of that ML, South Goa MLA? No, he's stable, absolutely stable. I mean, I mean, I mean, whatever we are doing, we are doing as per the SOPs and guidelines that have been given from time to time from the government of India. I just through your medium want to thank all our doctors and frontline people under the guidance of the Chief Minister. We are working day in and day out. Can I, can I, can I ask that? Can I, can I, can I? What is the back end? What is happening? Our Secretary of Health and our Chief Secretary and all our doctors, Dean and our staff of health services and director health services, all of them are working overtime. Actually, they are working to such an extent, I don't think any of us have even imagined that this would be the scale required. Goa, we are doing our best. Comparatively, Goa, I am in constant touch also with the Chief, the Minister from Kerala, Madam Shailaja, who is also keeping me posted about what's happening in her state so that you know we can adopt the best practices. Because Kerala is also been doing, though the cases have been rising, they are doing pretty well in terms of SOPs. Whatever the SOPs are through the MHA and whatever we need, people should not, people are losing jobs, people are losing uh, income. We have to ensure that with safety measures in place, how can we revive the economy? Chief Minister will be also making a few statements on his plan on the revival and other things. So in view of that, we have to see that how best the healthcare system becomes a robust system so that parallel we can ensure that along with the revival of the economy, how we are in a position to have the best health system strengthen the health system, see that if there are any gaps, you fill those gaps and move forward. One thing I can assure you, a lot of people keep uh, writing articles, people talk about various measures that need to be further improved. We take each and every article, each compare it to the recovery rate in the rest of the part of the country. All of us have to take precautions, time to wear masks, time to sanitize your hands, social distancing, go out if you require. That is the norms that you need to follow till we get a solution to for COVID-19 in terms of either a vaccine or actual treatment and course for COVID-19. Just now we with myself, Chief Secretary, Secretary Health was just discussing in general is that how one should move forward and everybody is putting their own bit and uh, trying to see that we keep Goa safe and people safe. As long as the mortality is low, overall if you look at it, still the mortality rate is low and uh, that is something that gives us more uh, you know, it, you, you know, with us. People also should come forward to see that government has made certain guidelines. If you go to Miramar in the evening, you will find people walking without masks. It, as well, it's a normal day. I have started wearing masks in the last few days because I move a lot. I move to different places, but I need to take precautions also. Today, the chief minister also, I told him and we discussed with him also that he needs to take also precautions. And, and it was unfortunate that one of the legislators, because today the legislators also are in the forefront in their respective constituencies. I am also registered in my own constituency, I have to see that we take things. I have told my father also who is 81, in spite of being 81 he attends all functions, all weddings, everywhere. Because mm -hmm. that's his style, he never lived in containment. <laughs> but we, we told him that to be careful because you know, he needs to take care. So all of us as citizens need to unite. Today is not the time for any kind of a political uh, point scoring. I see a lot of things happening but I, I don't want to, I refrain from commenting on anything. But only thing is that we as a team, all 40 legislators, along with all the doctors, along with the Chief Secretary, Secretary Health, other Secretaries, Revenue, the DIG, all these people of different departments are working in hand in hand, fire department, all of them are working hand in hand to keep Goa safe. And then that's the way forward. We have to look at ourselves, not belonging to any political party, but as Team Goa and trying to see how to keep Goa safe. The need of the hour today is revival of the economy and keeping Goa safe so that people still, when we talk of revival, we prevent further job losses so that people can survive COVID-19. One more last question is that, uh, one more one thing. Now the tourism department minister today announced starting of tourism activities, especially yes. hotels. I'm aware of that. Are you aware? Uh, is aware it okay? It, as a health minister, you know. No, but uh, economy has to some way. Other states have already so peace maintained. I mean, we're on the Pratna I mean, don't forget. Uh, uh, we will handle this problem. One side, we will use FDA to see that we take strict actions against restaurants that do not maintain the SOPs that is passed by the Chief Minister. Second side, we will, as a health department and the Epidemic Act, we will take action for not complying with those SOPs. So, SOPs definitely will be, and I, I think every hotel will want that there are SOPs in place. Ultimately, no hotel wants that somebody comes uh, one of the staff or anybody they don't maintain the SOPs gets. Uh, department I think is a great challenge, big challenge in front of me. 
and luckily I got the support of the Chief Minister because of which we are able to deal with the situation. We will deal with it. As hotels open, we want the economic activity to be revived. Same thing, we also stringent measures will be taken for violation of any kind of SOP. So one more thing is that, uh, as far as that new vaccine which has been announced by no, the economic, uh, is that your government who has helped? But we will take all it takes to see that we keep the people safe. Both myself and our whole cabinet and the uh, Chief Minister under his guidance, we are constantly at it. We exchange our thoughts and we deliberate on various issues and take things forward. And, and I am very happy with the work that is being done by my Secretary of Health, uh, Neela Mona, and also the Chief Secretary who has been also very supportive in what mm -hmm. we do. And that is the way forward. How many patients are ventilated? खबर गोवा मेडिकल कॉलेज लोकसंख्या ओपन नॉन कोविड पेशंट का अंदाज भी पब्लिक हेल्थ फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंडिया जे हमें प्रधानमंत्री जे जे एडवाइजर भी आते हैं डॉक्टर श्रीनाथ रेड्डी तेजे मध्यम श्वास सखी जो जे लॉन्च के रिस्की प्रेग्नसीज लक्ष थे ट्रेनिंग तेज चालू आ वर्चुअल ट्रेनिंग के मध्यम लोक ट्रेन करपा तो प्रयत्न चलना हाँ आता डीन संगले कि यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कोलंबिया यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अटलेंटा नर्सीज कोविड ट्रेनिंग दिवस थ्रू दैम एक वेगवेगे तरह गोषी चालूच आसा कम्युनिटी हेल्थ एसिस 